uh, let me show you. When you hit Control R, you can make a sprite. Now watch this. Uh, if I say rectangle, uh, let's make a blue rectangle. And now uh, <coughs> let's put some uh, red lines. So uh, I just noticed I have a uh, bug. A bug. Um, if we go to the sprite, let's let's say we want to edit a line, uh, or not. Or so let, let's say we, we want to select the line. So we say uh, select element, and then I click. Now the rectangle is highlighted. Uh, I clicked. I clicked here on the line, but the rectangle got highlighted. Uh, what happened is uh, uh, in the code where it uh, <coughs> in, in the sprite editor code. Uh, on the floor my my dear bird Percival is dying <sighs> he's pretty old anyway so uh, let's see I was, I was trying to show you something Look for DC, CDC. So uh, we're jumping to the source code. <coughs> so there's this uh, nearest distance curse sprite element number. Nearest sprite element number. Okay, so let's find uh, nearest. So when we select, we set the nearest. The, where do we set the distance? I guess. Uh, curse bright. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Okay, so when we draw the sprite, it um, it updates the nearest element. Uh, nearest, let's look for nearest sprite element. Oopsie. Find it. Okay. So I, I had a brilliant idea. I had a brilliant idea. Um, so when it plots, then it uh, resets nearest sprite element. Okay, here's my brilliant idea. What if we say when it's um, <coughs> Okay, so here's what's happening. When it draws all all the elements in the sprite, it does a comparison if it is less than. And I'm going to change it so that it does if the if the distance is less than or equal. So what this means is the foreground will be the uh, the. Uh, So 
so the foreground will be uh, uh, prefer it will prefer the foreground what is this Okay, so now when I reboot, I might as well compile. I don't have to compile. Reboot. Now when I go to Control R. So if I go to uh, Sprite Edit Menu, and then I uh, select Element. Now if I click. Okay, it's still the rectangle. But now let's try it again. Okay. We got both the rectangle. Okay, unselect. Unselect all. Okay, let's try this again. Select the element. Now if I control alt Z. Now if I if I am on top of the line now the line is selected instead of the rectangle. Um if I Okay. Now if I select element select element now if I do it right here then uh the rectangle. Okay. Control Shift C. Control Alt Shift C. Unzooms. Okay. So I fixed it. Uh, <coughs> so um, it's what you what you might want is to uh, cycle through all the elements, but I think it's good enough if it does the. Uh, what if it what if it selected all of them that's too hard anyway so it um, it selects the uh, the, uh, the the foreground it selects the foreground so now we're going to upload a new version to my website so I go to uh, change log and I say uh, made uh, sprite edit uh, select foreground element I abbreviate why don't I call this uh, sprite edit control L link to man page sprite we want sprite edit I think there's just sprite edit okay sprite edit is uh, okay good enough now what I do puppy once in my room I did this a couple times my puppy once in the room okay now we start uh, recompile this is not recompile this is uh, it regenerates uh, my website and all the ISO files it redoes them all anyway uh, by the way if you want to uh,
Popić. Po co popić? Okay, so I was thinking I should show you how to, uh, uh, if you want to have an environment like my environment, Let's go looking for uh, stuff on the net. Oh, I know, that's cool. Let's see if there's comments. I don't oh, I know, that's cool. Hi. Let's see if there's comments. So, wonder why more people aren't watching. Because <sighs> it's boring. I don't know. So, let's find the story for God to respond to. Okay, so delusionally, maybe they're talking about me. I don't think so. Never know. <laughs> Terrifying briefings. That's from Mr. God. doctor's name is Crawford psychologist that uh, I saw him back in 2000 but he's probably still around uh, my doctor's name could be Crawford so uh, let's go ahead and FBI source.
40. Now we escape. Let's see what we got. Same consciousness, the same regrets, to be ready to return to the same good understanding. And they were just growing again like themselves. Harriet, as Emma must suspect, is ready as the, the best of them to be cordial and happy when the carriage reappeared and all was over. The style of the visit, the shortness of it, were then felt to be decisive. Fourteen minutes to be given to those with whom she had thankfully passed six weeks, not six months ago. Emma could not but picture it all and feel just... Uh, so uh, if we were going to try to interpret, Obama might have visited somebody and uh, so how do you explain how to interpret Emma is one of uh, Hillary Clinton's aides not that uh, so uh picture at all. I was working with sprites. Okay, that wasn't much of a wasn't much of a response. You know, uh, Clinton's person. Clinton is kind of a bitch. <laughs> I think that's fair. So we're going to set this in motion. This is will synchronize my website. And let's go ahead and uh, we can talk to God in the meantime. Uh, God, kiss my puppy. <laughs> so I was going to show how to, uh, how to use the sprite editor. Uh, so let's try to make something with the sprite editor. Uh, so control R, make sprite. My favorite thing to draw is the Olympic rings. So uh, draw a circle. Oh, now we click over here. And this will insert in front. Uh, well, hold on a sec. Let's uh, let's make four copies. One, two, three, four. Oh, I know what I was going to do. So, click here. Now insert with five. Now we go to uh, Sprite Edit Menu and. Uh, Shift points. Uh, okay, that doesn't look good. So we can make these exact 
edit as text. Uh, let's say 80, 120, 50. Why is this 50? 40 more than. Oh, okay. So the ones, the three, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, these three are the, uh, the order got changed. Oh, that should be no surprise. Okay, so. So 50. cleaning these up okay so escape now we go back to the main sprite menu and uh, let's let's put color blue click here color yellow click here I think I don't know the uh, color black. It's supposed to be for continents, isn't it? But color green. Now, if we uh, okay, let's see if my select works well. Select element, let's click here, and let's click here, right click, good. Now, uh, shift selected elements, hey, it's working, okay, escape, or let's go, let's, uh, now here's what you need to learn how to do. Um, convert to bitmap transparent use these extents now uh, let's go to the main menu now look it's a bitmap so um, bitmap transparent use these extents now let's uh Let's say color. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Say, let's say dither color. Uh, oh, let's do brown and transparent. Now let's do flood fill. Okay, control alt control alt Z. Control alt shift Z. Uh, let's exit. So isn't that lovely? What else can we do? Uh, so I tried to uh, show off how you uh, use the Control R Sprite Editor. <coughs> oh, you know what we can do? How about we uh, let's try to import uh, a. Uh, oh, is this done? This is done. Okay, so I go, so I have to uh, copy my website file, files.
measure. So now we uh, delete, delete. We delete those two, and the ones I. So we just uh, I like to check the date date time. Okay, so I just updated the uh, website with made sprite edits select foreground element. Okay, so uh, now let's uh well, what were we going to do i was going to do something i forgot let's talk to god see if anybody's watching. Eight people watching. Okay, let's do some more uh, sprite editing. Let's see if anybody's watching. Okay, uh, we had the... Uh, okay, let's do some more uh, sprite editing. The dragon book. Oh, that's for compilers. Uh, what did we have? We had the dinosaur book. <laughs> Whoa. That's weird. I didn't really uh, have to deal with uh, uh, they teach you about deadlock and the bakery algorithm where you uh, you uh, take a number let's say you want to uh, just to, to, to print a file and you need both the disk let's Let's say you need two resources at the same time. Then how do you let? Uh, let's see. <sighs> um, there's something called deadlock, which uh, is a is a major topic for uh, operating systems. Uh, one time I, uh, the only time I ever had to deal with deadlock was. Uh, one time I was going to make a uh, uh, disk cache write. I was going to cache disk write. Um, currently I cache disk reads, but not write. And uh, one day I set out to make that as an option to cache, to cache disk writes. And I got deadlock. Uh, you need to, uh, anytime you need to, to have ownership of two resources then you have to deal with the issue of deadlock and uh, um, basically I managed to avoid deadlock um, in my entire operating system because uh, um, in some respects I kind of uh, I don't know if you want to say cheat um, what was the other, uh, well, sharing, sharing is a big topic, uh, uh, let's, I'm going to boot the, uh, watch this, I'm going to boot the, uh, the D drive, and, uh, 
while it's loading now if I click here I um, it doesn't share the disk and so that means uh, when that file was loading um, I was actually it was writing what it was a uh, I compress the dictionary when I make a uh, a new version and it has to uncompress during the first time you boot and I was going to demonstrate that it doesn't share the disk um, so that one one task has ownership so basically uh, I did I did uh, I avoided every all the uh, operating system concepts that they teach I didn't have to do any of that because I didn't feel like it <laughs> I don't I've, I view this as a single user operating system and so that means we only have to play one video game at a time um, we you can play multiple games that's but the point is uh let, watch this let's see what anyway. anyway um, but um, that there's no share there's no that's an example of uh, where there weren't any resources that needed to be shared actually the uh, the speaker needed to be shared but I didn't bother um, there's there's no uh, coordination of sharing the speaker um, that's kind of what I did with everything uh, well, what are we talking about? There's only there's only about five different hardware devices. There's the uh, the screen, the the disc. There's CD-ROM. There's a uh, uh, sound. There's mouse and keyboard. So there's like six different hardware devices. Oh, I know. Uh, so you want to talk about operating system concepts? I that's probably a popular topic. Uh, let's go see what if anybody said anything. Topic. Uh, let's go see what anybody said. So, uh, um, I don't, I tried to avoid ownership of, uh, um, progress. Uh, watch this. If I say progress one max equals 10, uh oh. How do you do the progress bars? Uh, so there's four progress bars. Uh, uh, I was going to demonstrate that I don't have coordination on that resource either. Uh, what the what the truck? Progress one equals ten. Okay, so I made uh, these are global variables. There's four global variables called progress one, progress two, progress three, and progress four. And when I'm debugging, I like to throw a value into these variables um, because it's displayed on the wallpaper and I can view it. Um, Okay, that's what I thought. So in order to do a progress bar, all you have to do is set progress one to something, uh, progress one max to something other than zero. Uh, so 
then you can you can change it so you can see what a low uh, complexity uh, resource this is there's no uh, ownership of, of the progress bars and so if this guy starts doing uh, So if this guy starts, let's say this guy wanted to do a progress bar, then uh, there's no coordination, so there's there's no ownership, and so it would get all messed up. So how on earth can you you use this? Well, uh, it's designed to be broken. Um, what that means is. Uh, Mostly you do one application at a time. And so in the real world, it's not really a problem. Um, sometimes you need more than one progress bar. So there's one, two, three, and four. Um, and uh, so uh, there is a situation where I use, I don't use a progress bar that often. Um, but, now how do you fix this? Uh, we have to say there's a function progress bars reset. Okay, now they're gone. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and run the. Uh, this is the test suite. Um, I think that's progress bar number four on the bottom. Um, some of the applications use progress bar number one. Um, so, uh, oh well. So, uh, yeah, cooperative multitasking. <laughs> uh, um, the, the main... When, when they say cooperative multitasking, usually they're talking about uh, the scheduler. And uh, as a matter of fact, I used to have preemptive multitasking, but I changed it to, to uh, cooperative because... Um, I figured it was too difficult for my users. Um, the the uh, the main place where where uh, multitasking is an issue is there's a window manager task that uh, that uh, updates the screen, and and your game application has to uh, um, interact with the window manager or uh, and so. Um, when it draws, when there's a callback that um, each task uh, uses to redraw the screen, and uh, or the window manager calls a callback for each task to draw the window, and uh, if you let's say you have some objects that you have linked lists, and you print them on the screen by by going through the linked list. Well, uh, um, you would cert you would soon discover that uh, changing the list is dangerous when there's two tasks ac accessing it without without a lock, and unless you want to do a lock, that's not much fun. But it, as it turns out, there's a uh, there's a simple solution that um, basically gets rid of all the issues and what that is is you get rid of preemption so uh, you make your code uh, uh, you can you can do what you like with the uh, the linked list and 
as long as there's no preemption, um, you're never going to have a problem. Um, and uh, uh, I figured I would I would make it full cooperative multitasking. By that I mean uh, what I, what I used to do is I used to have a preempt off, and uh, what you did is you uh, you turned off preemption for that task, and basically, as it turns out, there's a there's not really a uh, much of a penalty for getting rid of preemption. The only issue is uh, the sound. Uh, Occasionally, you get um, glitches in the uh, the timing of, of songs um, because of preemption. Uh, because there's no preemption, but otherwise, uh, uh, <clears throat> basically, tasks have to wait on I/O, and uh, in the real world, tasks um, mostly get swapped out when they're waiting on I/O, and if you're waiting on I.O., um, then uh, there's no issue of preemption. Uh, in other words, uh, um, if each task uh, swaps itself out when it waits on I.O., then um, you don't need preemption because I.O. is is uh, because everybody's cooperating and uh, they just wait on I.O. Now if you did make a task, uh, watch this. If we said, uh, I'm going to show you that it doesn't have preemption for I equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine. okay. So did you, did you see it lock up? It stopped blinking. That's because uh, it doesn't have preemption. So it locks out the window manager. So um, what's the, now let's say you, uh, let's say you really, normally you never uh, need, normally you wait on IO. But uh, oh, let's see. They call this cooperative multitasking because uh, if you play nice, if you yield the CPU, then um, uh, you get the picture. Uh, so uh, there's no there's no real uh, you probably don't care that it locks up the computer. If you're doing some, uh, I guess there might be timers that get screwed up. I don't. I don't know if it's safe to lock up the. Um, I don't know if if anything will. Uh, okay, it still has interrupts, uh, but it, uh, but it doesn't have preemption. Um, Let's say you're doing a batch processing where you're, let's say you're running a scientific uh, matrix application. Uh, there's a good chance you don't care if it locks up. Maybe you need to interrupt it. Oh, that's okay, that, that'll that work, uh, as a matter of fact. Let's, let's demonstrate you can interrupt. So if you hit Control-Alt-C, okay, so you can interrupt it. Um, it has interrupts, and uh, what we just did is uh, so Control Alt C. So uh, on a on a multi-user mainframe, you don't want one task to hog the computer. But um, 
what this is designed for is uh, is a uh, single user home computer. So why did I do it? Because it's simpler and um, it's it's more fun to hack. Because it's simpler and um, it's more fun to hack. Because it's simpler and um, it's more fun to hack. It's not, uh, it's not flash. Okay, so uh, I just looked at the comments. Uh, yeah, I was going to demonstrate how to. That's what I was going to do. So uh, let's let's see. You go to my website. Go to downloads. Let's get the, the ultra small. Why is it? It used to be 2.0. I took out. That's good. I I took out. Um, something I took out uh, um, I used to allow uh, allocating uh, two meg blocks I, I took that code out so uh, that dropped the size down to 1.9 I guess um, okay so we're gonna make a new virtual machine um, typical is okay um, we go to my download directory that's the 2 meg file other 64 bit yeah someday I want them to list me officially <coughs> I call this the ultra small so uh, this size, the default is okay. It, it uses very little disk space. A few, 100 meg is probably all you need. Um, customize hardware, yeah, we do want to customize. We want eight processors, eight cores. I have, I have a Core i7. <coughs> um, don't make more than you actually have because on this operating system it uh, it actually uh, requires real cores uh, there's something called uh, well normally they, they fork and um, in the scheduler uh, uh, doesn't normally you don't explicitly utilize the cores um, On a normal system, you don't know how many cores you have. On this system, you you actually divide it into eight tasks, and uh, you get the number of cores. Anyway, uh, I can explain that a little bit. So uh, I like to do five because that's more than four, and that's what uh, people 
people start shaking their finger oh it's not it's not 64 bit it's 32 bit so if you do 5 gig then it makes it um, that's why I do 5 we could um, okay so now we're installing the 2 meg uh, version so um, yes install on hard drive yes we are in a virtual machine now if you're in a virtual machine then it uh, it makes some assumptions is it it's normal for this to freeze press a key okay so now we're installing it's formatting the disk and um, installing um, it's making two identical partitions um, they're not quite identical one has a bootloader a master bootloader I don't put uh, my bootloader in the gap there's the normal technique or at least this is everything's changed with UEFI anyway reboot okay so here's how you if you want to be pretty close to what I have then um, uh, control D okay so here's the the directory this is the file manager um, I was just going to show you oh this doesn't have demos oh damn it I screwed up okay we can't I was going to show you how to um, use my files for your uh, if you wanted to be like me and use my files I was going to show you how to do that um, okay so manage delete from disk okay I actually purchased VMware workstation um, I'm alarmed because they're no longer uh, they fired everybody that was on that project um, I hope they uh, don't get rid of it it seems pretty done I don't know uh, anyway so let's go back to, to the website so the the problem is the ultra small doesn't have any extra garbage and uh, now we go to downloads let's get the 16 17 meg okay I think we're oh there it is okay we're good now we uh, new virtual machine typical file downloads the 17 meg I call this production this is the production version okay customize hardware okay you actually have to uh, 512 is the minimum uh, because uh, uh, because it actually uses that if you if you if you run the test suite or you uh, or you uh, generate a distribution and you and you have less than 512 meg it might actually crash so it really does need 512 meg um, so um, I'm going to get rid of the network card just to show that you don't need it um, and we can demonstrate that God still talks uh, So I hit Y, Y, Y. So that's how I do this a lot. So uh, the full distribution has the, the demos, the, the game applications, the dictionary. The dictionary is the biggest thing. Um, and uh, it has a, uh, what is that? It has a, uh, Anyway, uh, it has 
what we're going to look at right now. Okay, so if you hit Control D, take to or no. Control D is the file. Control D is the file manager. Maybe. Anyway, if we go to the demo, there's a directory called account example and this has my personal files this is on the standard distribution if you get the 17 meg it's on there and uh, what you do if you want to if you want to run just like me um, you can delete your own I do it this way well you don't have to do this okay I deleted the three files then I do a regular copy I could say copy tree but it's not a tree so copy C oh well copy demo account example slash star oh we could do it with the why don't we do it that way okay you're probably a wimp okay so I just copied the files we could use the file manager let's do it that way just to demonstrate you know you can't delete in bulk as I recall uh oh cancel we don't want to delete kernel okay so this file manager is uh, is a death trap okay delete personal notes let's see okay so it only deletes one at a time But you can copy multiple ones at a time. I could delete the direct the directory and then recreate it. Anyway, so we go to account example, put these on the clipboard, and then we go to uh, home, and then we insert. So I copied them. Shut up, bird. Okay. Hold on, the bird. See my bird? Here's my bird. Come on. Yeah, he's like 20 years old and he's crippled and he's dying. Um, anyway, so we, we copied from, now we reboot. Okay. Now you have a setup um, almost exactly like mine. Uh, well, you have. Now the two things you need to know are uh, um, this compile. This this does a make all. So we can. This compiles all the code. Um, it never uses object files. So. Uh, it actually compiles everything if we say compile and then reboot so um, now you have my my scripts uh, if you wanted to be even more like me then you could go to miscellaneous there's no way to do this um, if you downloaded all these files and then put them into um, I have them in a download directory. Well, hold on a second. So I just turned that off. I'm going to delete it. And I go to my normal one. Um, so this is my my version, and there's in this download directory. There's a lot of files. You could get that off of my website if you wanted to. Uh, you might like the songs. There's songs on there, 100, 100 songs. Maybe you want, there's a few games. Chess, the pill. This game's kind of cool. Uh, it's not much of a game. So, Um, we're going to uh, it, this is done without a GPU 
this is pretty hard to do without a GPU. Um, so, there's a chess game, missile defense. Um, let's see if we have any comments. So, uh, maybe somebody wants to, uh, somebody wants to be a priest. <laughs> um, I, I could let them, uh, update, update my website. Do you seriously want to, uh, what I normally do all day as a quote-unquote priest is, uh, but I just, is, uh, normally a blog. So I go to the web and, uh, my mom's overhearing appeals court tweets dance baby hey let's get God to talk about dinosaurs oh, damn. birds on the ground again Okay, uh, so this is what you do as a priest. You go here. Then you have to uh, control. T So you have to uh, you have to talk to God, otherwise he won't respond. Oh, let's see. Now uh, go to the random number site. Okay, so was it two eighty? What? Ten forty-eight? Yeah. Two oh two eighty. Okay, that makes sense.
can see my other bird. That's the, that's the one that uh, he's younger. He's he's healthy. <coughs> that is renowned for faith. Be fickle, f be fickle, fortune. For then I hope thou wilt not keep him long, but send him back. Ho, oh, daughter, are you up? Who is that calls? Is it my lady? My lady mother, is she not down so late and up so early? What a custom cause procure her hither and her mother. Why, how now, Juliet, madame, I am not well. Evermore weeping for your cousin's death. What will thou wash him from his grave with tears? So, uh, <clears throat> be fickle. Uh, maybe we need to uh, take seriously uh, qualifications for blogging. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, So, I was just thinking, my, my, my mom is in the other room. I think she might be overhearing. So we could make a song. Uh, um, well, let's, let's 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 blog some more. Let's go find. Let's go find the story. Maybe maybe we can get God to talk about dinosaurs. Uh, so, uh, we have to ask an entertaining question. God. Did. Did any dinosaurs. <coughs> <coughs> So, um, normally, let's wait till it, um, well, it doesn't matter. shall rise from the dead, which neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. And as touching the dead, they that rise, they, they have not, have ye not read in the book of Moses, how in the bush God spake unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Is He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do err greatly, err greatly err. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning. 
So, uh, <clears throat> in the Bible, uh, I guess, uh, I think it's uh, Corinthians uh, number two, I guess. Number five. Number seven. How about number seven? So this says not to get married if you it says uh, if you do not lust, don't get married. Corinthians, First Corinthians, number. Chapter 7. Uh, I think that's the one. It says, um, to wait on the Lord. If they can contain, let them they cannot contain. Therefore I say unto you, unmarried and widows, it is good for them to abide even as I. Well, it's in the Bible. Uh, then you get to talk, oh, well, you have to be on disability. <laughs> Okay, so uh, he it mentioned a bush. Um, that's about the dinosaurs. Um, so, what's a good dinosaur question? Oh no. So this script transfers from uh, so um, let me explain. So, <clears throat> on my website, under miscellaneous, uh, in the bin directory, these are some scripts. This is for QEMU. This is for VMware. Um, hold on. These are little tiny scripts. Um, you can get them on my website. Um, um, 
VM install will uh, will set up a VMware uh, disk mount VM disk um, sometimes you have to uh, to manually change the permissions but once you get it well anyway and then once you have once you're this is um, expecting the disk to be named VM disk and VM out what this does is it copies files from my uh, VMware guest into my Linux host so it copies from the VM mount into my uh, my home my home directory so I have a uh, I I copy um, I don't copy quite everything but I copy most things so I have a home directory this is just like my home directory and uh, it's a copy of my home directory <coughs> and uh, so it's a copy of my home directory um, then I have a uh, a copy of my website um, so I, I do all disk transfers in and out off of the D partition because it can get corrupted if you if you do uh, if you go in there and start deleting and renaming stuff on your Linux or on your uh, on your mounted drive then um, the I don't do fat 32 short names uh, it's kind of a um, fat32 started as a DOS uh, file system and uh, they started with eight character names and uh, 8.3 and uh, then they I think in 1995 they added uh, um, the long file names and um, and so um, there's kind now when, if you actually look at a, uh, if you take a fat partition, uh, I'm doing a full. Okay, so the cluster number for this directory is right there. Now, if I say don't, if I say don't cluster. This is the directory, uh, and this is the fat, the fat directory. So these are the eight character short names, and then the long character, the long names, they're two characters a piece, and they're, you can see B, U, D, they're spread out over uh, several entries. And uh, so here's the problem. Um, if once you um, so I have script I have scripts that uh, that copy in and out and they so there's one copying in one copying out um, there's a script that will mount the drive another one that will unmount and when you when you call the copy in or out it automatically mounts and then unmounts um, <clears throat> so uh, I generate my website with my own software and then copy that um, into my uh, and then I then I synchronize with uh, um, Cross FTP. Um, so if I had somebody blogging, they would need to learn how to do this. Um, so this synchronizes with my website. So there's actually three um, different. There's a there's a guest hard disk. There's the Linux system, and then there's my website, which. Uh, that of course has its own files anyway so what we were going to talk about uh, okay so I can do um, 
VM mount. So once I do that, now in my file system, uh, under, uh, what is it under mount, isn't it under mount. So now I have one of these is for QEMU, that's my disk for QEMU. VM disk is for uh, for uh, VMware. And this has, uh, so right now it's mounted. If I were to go in here and uh, um, start messing around, um, it would it would make the short names are not really supported. And so if you mess around, you can copy in and copy out, but if you start deleting and renaming, it's gonna it's gonna corrupt the uh, the short names, and then it's not going to work in it's not going to work in Temple OS. So what you, so here's what I recommend. Uh, let let me unmount. Okay. So what I recommend is uh, um, you have a C and a D drive. I recommend using just the D drive for uh, transferring in and out and keep the C as your master and that shouldn't get corrupted. Um, this is getting my, here's my puppy. So, uh, anyway, so um, if you want to see, uh, I could explain. Um, QEMU is free. Um, this is about five times faster disk access. But uh, QEMU is pretty good. I, it used to be buggy, but now it's pretty good. Um, QEMU. Um, it has a uh, VMware sound is distorted. So VMware sound is distorted. Um, QEMU, I can start up my QEMU. Now this is tricky because I uh, it automatically copies um, when you exit. My scripts automatically copy out, and so there's I don't I have one master on my host Linux and I have two guest hard disks uh, the uh, VMware and the QEMU and I have to be careful not to uh, VMware is what I use as my master but QEMU is the only one that can do songs so I have it rigged so that if I shut this it, it doesn't copy out um, so, um, in my bin directory, I have QEMU, uh, in and out. So, let's look at, you probably need to see the mount. Uh, that's, so I tell it to, to do number two, which is, uh, the, uh, I have a C and a D partition, and this number two means to mount the D partition. It has to be a FAT32. Um, I think the, def the default is FAT32. So this is how you... Uh, I have on my... Oh, if, we want, if you want to do QEMU. Um, EMU install. This creates uh, the hard disk image. And then you do EMU new. And um, I think it will... Um, anyway so you can get those uh, like I said before on my website this is my website home miscellaneous temple OS for download and then bin this has the scripts for copying in and out um, I even I even have scripts for generating a movie uh, I can I can capture bit BMP files and then make a video um, by uh, 
using FF MPEG. Um, there's a easier way to make videos, and that's this OBS uh, screencast. Um, but in the past, I used to have to do the the BMP files. Uh, see the YouTube military so I like to follow uh, F35 there's a Zumwalt so I'm on disability and I spend all my time browsing the web So I can't play these videos or it's going to make a copyright uh, issue. Um, it's just YouTube. Um, I like to, let's, oh I know, I know what, uh, here let's put the radio on. This is uh, you browse on our site, the audio continues uninterrupted. Oh, let's see if God wants to talk about the military. Um, God said he, uh, well, there's a There's an osprey, and he said it's an abomination. Um, I don't think that God likes the F-35. <laughs> I could be wrong. The os the off the osprey is a vertical takeoff. Uh, plane. God, we looked at Halo where they have uh, uh, Halo has jet packs for soldiers. Um, I don't think God likes that. God doesn't like let's see Yeah, that looks like a dud. Uh, if you spam God, 
you have to put some effort you can't just my mom's talking it's distracting me Okay. Oh, well, what else do you want to talk about? <laughs> Let's see what's on the web. So I copy out of VMware into my into my Linux uh, website file, website directory, and then I uh, if I'm doing a single file, I do uh, FileZilla. Otherwise, I do cross FTP. Cross FTP will do a synchronize. I don't think this will. This is free. Um, it, it would be nice if it could synchronize. Maybe I didn't look. Anyway, uh, so I use FileZilla to transfer a single file, and I use Cross FTP for. Uh, to synchronize the whole whole thing um okay that's enough for now i'm going to stop casting <laughs>